Uh, welcome to my youtube channel in this video we'll be dealing with a break even analysis kind of question which is derived from previous question papers this is the relevant question for grade 11 and grade 12 learners so in this case we are having this case study a sipo is working at shining cars car wash and has the following wage options he received 20 rand for every car that he washes or 200 rand per day plus 10 rands per car that he washes the equation representing the options are option number one wage is equals to 20 rands multiplied by number of cars that n represent the number of cars or option two, wage is equal to 200 rands plus 10 rands multiplied by the number of cars. The wage of a car wash, option one and option two table is given. Cost in rents, number of cars. We can see that the other graph begins at zero while the other graph begins at 200 what is the meaning of this the one that begins at zero i'm talking about line b it is option number one whereby if he does not wash any car you won't get a salary on that day because they only give him 20 rand for each and every car that he wash then we go to a graph a graph begins at 200 because he get a fixed amount of 200 before washing any car. Whether you wash a car or he doesn't, you're going to get a fixed amount of 200 rand per day. So for that option B, it, for option B, if it doesn't work, we'll receive nothing. For option A, if it doesn't work, we'll receive 200 rands. That is the reason why our graph begins at 200. You must not forget them. So if you look at point 402 and 20, the graphs there, they cross each other and those two graphs, they are sharing a point. We call that place a break-even point. That is where option A and option B are equal. It means that if he wash 20 cars, you're going to receive 400 rands whether is option b or option number a he's still gonna get this very same amount at that point because the graph are equal then so again the other things that are given we are also given this case to indicate the darker one is option one then the one that is not that much dark it is option number two use the information above to answer the following question the first question, which is 4.1.1, it says that write down the graph which indicate option one and option two. Use letters A and letters B. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is to write option one, and then option two. Option one. Is the one that I said if you receive nothing if you don't work you receive nothing which is what number B you don't work you receive nothing the graph begins at zero then option number two is the one that they give you a fixed amount of 200 rand before you begin to work it's age our graph begins at 200 4.1.2 Explain the meaning of break a break even point in this contest. In this contest, we have already explained this to say that a break even point is a point where the income under option one is equals the income under option two. Point where income in option one is equal 
is equal to income in option two. A point where income in option one is equal to income in option number two. And then 1.4.1.3, it says that SIPO opted for wage option number two. It means that he decided to use option number two. Which one is option number two? The A graph of receiving 200 rands before you begin to work. He watched 12 cars on the first day. He used option one, and then he watched 12 cars in the first day. Now they are saying verify showing all calculations or by use of the graph that if he had chosen option number one, he would have earned 80 rand less for that day. Now they are saying that he watched 12 cars and he chose option number two. Now they are saying that we should verify this calculation to say that if you have opted for option number one, you will have earned eight rand less for that day. So what we need to do, we must calculate using option one for 12 cars and option number two for 12 cars. And then we calculate the difference and check if the difference is eight rand. Unfortunately, it's a little bit difficult to use a graph because if you look at our graph, we are having 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. We don't have the 12 there. We cannot predict where is 12. Same applies to the prices. We only have 0, 200, 400, 600, 800. We don't have numbers in between there. And it is so difficult for us to predict the correct answer. So let's do this calculation. Let's use calculations. Uh, option number one. We know that for option number one, it is income, which is equal to 20 multiplied by N. That is the equation that we are given. Then in this case, he have watched 12 cars. So 20 multiplied by 12 is what we need to do. Uh, 20 multiplied by 12 is 240. He earned 240 rents in option one. If he have chosen option one, he was going to earn 240. So let's look at option two. Income is equal to 200 plus 100 multiplied by N. That's what he have used. Multiply by 12. So let's check how much he have earned using that option number two. Uh, obviously, it's 200 plus 100 multiplied by 12. Uh, this is the mistake that we have, oh, I've done here is is 10 here. It's 10, please, it's 10 not 100 i don't know this 100 is coming from this is 10 is 10 then the answer is 320 so for option number two you will end 320 for option number one you will end at 240 so let's look at the difference here difference is going to be 320 minus 240 what is 320 minus 240? 320 minus 240, the answer is 8 rands. The answer is 8 rands. Yes, if he have chosen uh, option number one, he was going to earn 8 rand less. So we're going to say that the statement is valid. A valid statement. valid statement uh, thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like the video 
don't forget to comment if you have question i will definitely get back to you thank you see you in the next video